I'm Paula Meyer, and I'm thrilled to be partnering with Medila on this series of video chats about the importance of the first two weeks after birth with respect to breastfeeding and lactation. Today, we're going to focus on why that first two week period is so important for mothers and for babies. New mothers seldom have information about breastfeeding that focuses specifically on the first two weeks after birth. Among breastfeeding researchers, the first two weeks after birth are known as a critical period in lactation, meaning that the changes that occur in the breasts and hormones during this time are essential or critical to building and maintaining a good milk supply. Also, these changes are a one-time event and they have to happen in a specific order with one change triggering the next one. These changes require the right stimulation from your baby, or if necessary, a hospital-grade multi-user electric breast pump with initiation technology. Research shows that having plenty of milk by the end of the first two weeks is the biggest predictor of meeting your breastfeeding goals especially if your plan is to exclusively breastfeed. In our brief conversation today, we will review the basics of the first two weeks. In later conversations, we talk about breastfeeding practices during this time. So let's recap what happens in the first two weeks. Well, two lactation stages take place in this very short time frame: the initiation of lactation and coming to volume. These two stages are controlled by very different processes in your body, which makes it easy for problems to appear. The initiation of lactation occurs during the first two to three days after birth as the breasts begin to make milk. The initiation of lactation includes secretory activation, which is also known as the milk coming in. When there is a quick change in the fullness and the heaviness of the breasts, the next several days during coming to volume or building your milk supply, the amount of milk increases very rapidly each day, reaching 18 to 20 ounces or more by the end of two weeks. So this 40 fold increase or 40 times the amount of milk between day one and day 14 underscores and emphasizes how important the first two weeks is in creating and building your milk supply. So first, we'll talk about the initiation of lactation. During pregnancy, many hormones work together to prepare the breasts for making milk. However, the main milk-making hormone called prolactin is held in check until after your baby is born. As soon as you give birth, key lactation hormones make changes in your body so that the milk production starts. Nutrients are moved from stores within your body to the breasts, and the breasts themselves undergo physical changes that are necessary for full lactation. These changes activate the breasts to secrete milk, hence the name secretory activation. Key to all of this, however, is your baby's very frequent breastfeeding because it works alongside prolactin, the milk-making hormone, to bring about these necessary changes. So in the first two to three days, babies aren't meant to drink quickly and then go back to sleep for long periods of time. If they did that, the breasts would not get the necessary stimulation to make enough milk. Next, we'll talk about coming to volume or building the milk supply. As you move from secretory activation into coming to volume or building up the milk supply, the processes that control milk production begin to change. After secretory activation, prolactin reaches high enough levels to make milk only when the breast is stimulated and emptied. Keeping high levels of prolactin is key to making enough milk, so breastfeedings must be frequent, which also will satisfy your baby's hunger. The other process that controls milk making is your baby's removing as much of the milk as possible. Milk has a special protein in it that when your baby removes it, 
It's food for your baby, but when it stays behind in the breast, it makes less milk. These processes that start with coming to volume continue to control milk production for as long as you breastfeed. Called supply and demand, your milk supply will depend upon your baby's demand, and that's your baby's milk removal. So we'll end our video chat today with three important takeaway messages. The first is that the first two weeks after birth is a short but critical period that's a one-time event that brings about changes in your breasts that are essential for making milk for the weeks and months to come. Second, your baby's very frequent feeding, 10 to 12 times a day during this time period provides the necessary stimulation for these changes. And third, completion of the first two weeks with plenty of milk for your baby is the best predictor of meeting your own personal breastfeeding goals.